Hello, I'm a BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to the video. Today, let's talk about Minecraft for the Nintendo Switch. This is a brand new version of Minecraft coming out very shortly. It's going to be the newest version when it comes out, and uh, obviously, it's going to be interesting because the Switch is a very unique console in and of itself. And you might be curious if you're going to get one as to whether you should get Minecraft. How powerful is it? When is it coming out? What does it look like? And all these things. I figured I could answer with today's video. Hopefully, you all do enjoy it. Like the video if you do because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do like, I guess, the latest in Minecraft uh, console news. Uh, but with that said, let's get straight into it, shall we? And let's just start by explaining what the Switch is. For those of you who aren't familiar, you know, you haven't seen the whole thing. Basically, the Switch is a brand new console from Nintendo. It's essentially like a tablet when it's in the on-the-go mode, uh, but then it's also, you know, switchable into a home console where you can put it into a dock. It doubles its specs, more than doubles in some cases, and uh, then you can, you know, have a home console which runs at a slightly, you know, better resolution and all that sort of stuff. It's going to be very interesting when it does come out. However, for now, all we've seen is a few, uh, you know, little clips from all different games, and here are the clips we've seen from Minecraft for the Switch. So, it's a longer thing, but just watch it. So yeah, that was everything we've seen as far as Minecraft Nintendo Switch gameplay goes. We've also seen a screenshot from 4J Studios because just after that came out, you know, that was the official announcement of Minecraft the Switch. They also tweeted out this screenshot where, as you can see, there's their, you know, little, I guess it's uh, the demo unit off the Nintendo Switch. And then you can also see that they've got, you know, Minecraft Switch running on there just fine. It's like almost entirely done, which is very intriguing to me because with previous versions of Minecraft, they've taken months or, you know, sometimes years to develop the whole game. However, in this case, just porting it over the Switch seems to have been an easy enough job because it might be coming out pretty soon because you can see it's entirely developed in these places and we've still got a couple of months to go. So uh, yeah, that, that means the first question we can easily answer because we've seen gameplay and we've seen this is that when is this coming out? Probably just after release because as well as the fact that it's basically done with two months to go until that does come out, we also have the fact that if you look uh, very close in the background, they've got their you know, uh, British Academy Award and that could just be them showing off their awards because they've got a bunch of those. But it also says March on there, which is the you know obviously the month that this uh, you know Nintendo Switch is coming out. So the fact that it could be a launch title is something I'm very much you know uh, considering because having a Minecraft as a launch title could be a good way to you know convince people more people to get the game and that's something that Microsoft and you know Minecraft Mojang etc you know I'm sure everyone's on board of selling more copies than Minecraft so when is this coming out almost certainly as a launch title perhaps very shortly after launch but yeah basically that's when it'll be coming out but which is it something worth picking up when the switch does come out if you are getting an early version of that because uh, you might be curious as to whether this is a you know like full version of Minecraft or it's going to be kind of like the uh, you know the lesser versions like the you know the PS Vita version for instance only has four player multiplayer has a tiny render distance is it like that at all well again from the uh, stuff we've seen we can kind of discern some of that because uh, as you can see right here there is uh, kind of three different scenes we have we have this first one which is from the uh, you know one part of the tutorial as you can see there's the giant polar bear in the background the second one is from the you know, the jungle part of that tutorial world and this third screenshot again all of the new tutorial world which is very intriguing to me the fact that everything they've shown off so far is from that tutorial world maybe that means that oh yeah it's still in progress they, they want to make sure they get the, the stuff that works the best they've guaranteed it they test it etc or maybe uh, it's just because the tutorial world has some of the craziest terrain and that's how they want to best show it off I can't say for certain. However, because it is this tutorial world, this is something we can then go check out on the Xbox One and PS4 and see exactly how this console holds up. Because bear in mind, the Switch in general isn't as powerful as the Xbox One and PS4, and it's barely more powerful than the Wii U. Will it be running the Wii U version, or will it be running the Xbox One slash PS4? And from what I can tell from these screenshots, it might just be somewhere in between. So bear in mind, this is when it's in the on-the-go mode, so it's entirely possible that it keeps the entire version of the game from the Xbox One and PS4, just lowers the frame rate down to 720p, and lowers the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the number of chunks it's loading, the lo uh, render distance, that's entirely possible and that'd be a really cool solution but what we can tell so far is that the uh, you know the d resolution of course has to be lower and we can you know at 720p because that's all the screen does support and uh, obviously that means that also the uh, render distance has to be lower because we can kind of actually compare the render distance on these screenshots to our regular world because if we, if we go ahead we compare that first one you know the, uh, the one from the 4J screenshot you'll see how it's kind of cleverly you know it looks like it's exactly the same as on the Xbox One PS4 which at first I was like oh that's really exciting because obviously the fact that you can see the same trees at the very distance that's really cool stuff however if we actually uh, you know fly up we can see how that's not all of the render distance that's even in use. So yeah, as far as our first little test here, uh, you know, it looks very close to the Xbox One PS4, but it's obviously not using all of it. It's just a cleverly placed screenshot. Then if we look at the second one uh, from the Ice Biome, again, it's a similar thing because it's at the very corner of the world. There's no extra distance there. However, the final one, if we compare the, uh, you know, the jungle place to the uh, the video of it, you can see how the background of that goes much, much further on Xbox One. Uh, something like, let's call that like six or eight chunks or something, which means that the render distance while it's on the go is a little bit higher, if not the exact same as that of the Wii U. 
However, I have to imagine, again, with the doubling of the hardware power, the slightly more than doubling that comes with it going from, uh, you know, the uh, portable mode to the, uh, you know, the switch mode, it's not only going to change the resolution up to 1080p, but it might also increase some of that render distance. And also, because, uh, you know, the switch is presumably more powerful than the 360, the PS3, or the Wii U, even in the on the go mode, it still might have access to features like, uh, you know, the, uh, the the later down the line, bigger multiplayer, whenever that comes. It might have access to stuff like Amplified or Bigger Worlds. It's impossible to tell because they use this tutorial world, which obviously has a limited size uh, on all the consoles, regardless of where it is, which is something I guess we'll just have to wait and see about uh, as far as all those specs. However, my my predictions for now is that one, it's going to be coming out in March. I've already said that. Two, I think it's going to be somewhere in between the power of the Wii U uh, and the uh, the Xbox One while it's on the go, and maybe it'll up its power for when it's in the dock. We will have to wait and see exactly how that goes. I'll be testing it like extensively when it comes out. But for now, uh, it's not looking like the most amazing version of Minecraft. But it's not looking like a dud one either. It's still going to be an amazing version of Planet Go. Probably the best one you know that is playable on the go. I mean that's not big competition, but I'd say it's still going to be the best uh, version if you want to control it and you want to play on the go. Uh, you know because the Pocket Edition still doesn't do that very well at all, it, which is sad. I mean I really I, I wish the Pocket Edition had better you know controller support than the kind of laggy Bluetooth stuff that goes on right now. But yeah, if you want like a designed for console uh, controller version of Minecraft, the Switch looks like it's going to be that, and it's going to do it more than fine. And I think for 99% of people, it's going to be a absolutely great version of the game and absolutely fun time. And the final uh, thing that I think might be on there is a transfer mode from the Wii U to the Nintendo Switch because the PS4 and the Xbox One both got transfer files from the PS3 slash uh, PS Vita and the Xbox 360 respectively. So I imagine the uh, Wii U might eventually be updated, have that transfer your file over uh, to the Nintendo Switch because there's a non-significant amount of people that do play uh, across from, you know, obviously, uh, you know, on the on Nintendo versions exclusively. Maybe they want to make sure that they can do that. And also something that I imagine is going to happen perhaps in some form because what they did with the Xbox One and PS4 is they allowed you to get your DLC for free. Again, now the whole thing's under control of Microsoft. They might not be so generous, but you also might get a discount on the game as well as a discount or free DLC from all the stuff you bought. I'd hate having to buy the Super Mario Mashup pack and I hope that they do that at the very least. But yeah, there are all the details we can concern, uh, discern about this new version of the game. I hope you did all enjoy this video. Oh yeah, one more thing before I go. I am actually genuinely excited for this version of the game only because I, you know, fly a lot and obviously right now, as far as like your portable console options, you've got a 3DS which has cool games, but it's really, really underpowered and you know, that's somewhat true of the Switch, but this is going to be a big step up from that. Uh, you've got like a PS Vita, which hasn't been supported in a while. And then you've got like mobile games, which again, most of those suck about internet. The, they're generally not built to be fun. They're built to like extract money. But point being, I, I, I mostly prefer, uh, you know, playing on, on, on like some form of game console. And this is probably going to be the best portable console. So I'm looking forward to playing Minecraft on it for that reason. And also because Nintendo Mario, which if I haven't mentioned already, will be on there, of course. So yeah, exciting times all around. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, share if you liked it. Subscribe new around here because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Page. Hopefully you learned something new from this video, even if it was just like the render distance, because that was something, uh, you know, I, I like to sneakily go in there and see the, the tiny things that they accidentally reveal. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.